I was a freshman in college when you guys were seniors mm -hmm. that, that year. I remember every play of that. I remember the season. And I remember that was really what made Mike Krzyzewski a star. He obviously is in an entirely different place right, right now. It has, he has become arguably the greatest coach in the history of the sport. And he sends three rookies to the NBA this year. And that's where I want to pick up this conversation with you guys for a moment. Because the rookie survey came out. They, interviewed, they, they surveyed all the other guys who were going to be rookies this year. And the player they expect, they themselves, the rookies expect to have the best NBA career is Cam Reddish. Not Zion, not R.J. Barrett, not any of those other guys, but the much maligned at times, Cam Reddish. Did that surprise you? A little bit, but, but I think it, in one way it doesn't because Cam is the most talented across the board among those players and maybe among that entire draft <coughs> class because he's got size, he's got great length, uh, an excellent athlete. He's the best defender uh, of, of those three Duke players that went into the draft in the lottery. And he's also the best shooter. Like, he's a, he's a freaky good shooter. Uh, didn't shoot it as well consistently as, as expected. He was more streaky. But he's got all the talent. The question is, does he, you know, what, what does he have in here? Uh, is he going to be able to? Because he, he checked out of a couple games. Didn't even play in two of them when he should have. And th those raised a couple red flags. But talent-wise, uh, I, I can't disagree. Uh, and first and foremost, players don't always take these serious. I wish they would, but they don't always do so. Even a couple of years ago when the players were voting for MVP awards, you get a, a guy who hasn't played all year getting MVP votes. But Cam Reddish also played against this same level of uh, competition when they were in high school. Mm -hmm. And guys remember the work you put on them a couple of years prior before you ended up running with Zion and RJ, which tells you his peers feel like he was overshadowed at Duke. And your last point was one of my favorite ones as well. If you look at all of the people that went in the draft ahead of him, a couple Zion, Ja, RJ, and DeAndre Hunter, he's the one that's a knockdown shooter, gets to play with Trey Young, so his situation mm -hmm. looks like if he grows into his game, may also be a good look for him. You spent a lot of time around that team. Were you surprised by this? So those guys, they, they, they seem to like each other, but he had some issues. Yeah, and I was actually a little more surprised that people didn't pick Zion. I, I get it. Maybe the situation had more to do with it, but Zion's very well liked, and you would think that these other players who know him well and who have played with him might have gone with him. So that, was so that a, surprised me more than actually that it was Cam Reddish. There might be a little Zion fatigue, too, in that, too. I, yeah. I don't know what why people voted the way they did, but I can tell you that People are coming up to me all the time going, I don't know, injuries. And you're like, where is that coming from? Yeah. Now, now if you're a doctor saying that, but it's like the only thing people can pick at. Well, he's going to be hurt. Okay. Well, if, if that's all you got. And these I are the same you... rookies when they ask them who's their favorite player. None of them pick Steph Curry. So that fatigue yeah. does exist. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, highlights, and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.